Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to solve a system of equations when we have a circle and a line. So the first thing we need to remember is the standard equation of a circle that we learned in geometry at some point, and that would be x squared plus y squared is equal to the radius squared or r squared. So when we have a circle and a line, we could have three possible um, intersection types or solution types, right? On here on the left, we could have a circle and a line that don't intersect, so there would be no solution. We could have a line and a circle that intersect at one point, so one solution, or our line could go through our circle and have two intersection points, so two solutions. So in this video, we're gonna look at three examples, one of each of those solution types. So we'll jump into example one with x squared plus y squared equals 20 and y equals x plus two. So the easiest method, because remember when we solve a system, we have three methods, graphing, substitution, and elimination. In my opinion, substitution is probably the easiest method to use, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. So we see that y is equal to x plus two, so we can plug that in for y into our circle equation. So we have x squared plus, in parentheses, x plus two squared, and that's equal to 20. So we get x squared plus, and now we are presented with the square of a binomial. So if we remember how to expand x plus two quantity squared, then we can do this pretty easily. If you forget that, it's just x plus two times x plus two, and you can FOIL. So this is going to be x squared plus four x plus four is equal to 20. And now I'm just gonna combine like terms. So we get two x squared plus four x, and since I have a quadratic equation, I'm gonna set this equal to zero to see if I can factor it or solve it by some other method. So now I'm gonna subtract 20 and we get minus 16 is equal to zero. So now um, for me solving a quadratic, I'm always gonna start with to see if I can factor it. And in this case, I see that A is not one, but A can be factored out. So let's factor out a two. So we get two times X squared plus two X minus eight is equal to zero. So now if we divide both sides by two, that's gonna get rid of that two. And now we have X squared plus two X minus eight is equal to zero. So now we can just factor this. We need to find two numbers that add to two and multiply to negative eight. So I'm thinking four and two, and then we need to get the sign right. So let's come up here and let's say x plus four times x minus two would equal zero, right? So we know four plus negative two would be four minus two, so that'd give us two. And then we multiply those together and we would get eight. So now we can set each of those equal to zero. So x plus four equals zero, and that's gonna give us x equals negative four and x minus two equals zero, and that'll give us x equals two. So now we have our two x values of our two solutions here. So now we just need to take those values and plug them back in to find our y value. So I would do that in our linear equation. So we know x is negative four, x is two. So let's do y equals negative four plus two, and that's gonna give me negative two. So my one of my solutions is negative four, negative two. So that'd be one of our solutions. And then we have y equals two plus two, and that would give us four. So our other solution is two comma four. Okay, so that would be a two solution example. All right, example number two, we have x squared plus y squared equals 10, and y equals negative three x plus 10. So the same way, we're gonna take what y is equal to in our linear equation and plug that in for y in the circle equation. So now we have x squared plus, and then in parentheses, negative three x plus 10, quantity squared is equal to 10. So now here I'm going to once again expand our binomial. So we have x squared plus, and this is gonna be nine x squared plus, or excuse me, minus uh, 60 x plus 100 is equal to 10, okay? And so how we're expanding that is, the pattern is a squared minus or plus two ab plus b squared. Um, so if you wanna check out how to expand the square of a binomial, um, you can link it, look at the card in the top right hand corner right now. So let's go back to this one. Let's add our like terms here. We get 10x squared minus 60x, and I'm gonna subtract 10, so we get plus 90 is equal to zero. So once again, let's try and factor this, and let's factor out the 10 first. So we get a 10, and then x squared minus 6x plus nine is equal to zero. We can divide both sides by 10 to make it just be x squared minus 6x plus nine is equal to zero. So now hopefully you recognize that that's a perfect square trinomial. So that's gonna factor as the square of a binomial, and that's going to be x minus three quantity squared is equal to zero. So now, if you didn't recognize that, once again, just think what two numbers add to negative six and multiply to nine, and it's gonna be negative three and negative three, so x minus three quantity squared. Now we can go ahead and solve this by taking the square root of both sides. We get x minus three is equal to zero because the square root of zero is just zero, and we can add three, and we get x is equal to three. So now we know this is a one solution example, 
And once again, let's plug that back into our linear equation to find the y, var uh, y value or y variable of our solution. So we have y equals negative three times three plus 10. So y equals negative nine plus 10, which would be one. So we have one solution here and it would be three comma one. All right, our last example, we have x squared plus y squared equals four and y equals x plus four. So let's take our expression x plus four and plug it in for y. So x squared plus x plus four quantity squared is equal to four. And once again, let's expand. So x squared plus x squared plus eight x plus 16 is equal to four. So combine our like terms, we get two x squared plus eight x, and I'm gonna subtract this four to get plus 12, um, so we can set this equal to zero. And so now here we can just factor out this two. So we get two and then x squared plus four x plus six is equal to zero. And now we can divide both sides by two. So we get x squared plus four x plus six is equal to zero. Now we're gonna think about factoring this, we would need two numbers that add to four and multiply to six. So if we think multiply to six, that's one and six, two and three. So it doesn't really seem like we have any factors, like it's not factorable. Um, so what we could always do is choose a different method. Maybe we're just having a, a brain issue here and we can't think of our, our factors. So let's write this as x squared plus four x is equal to negative six, right? We just added or subtracted that six to the other side and let's complete the square. So we have x squared plus four x plus four is equal to negative six plus four. So we added four there because to complete the square, it's b divided by two squared. And now we have x plus two quantity squared because we factored x squared plus four x plus four is equal to negative two. And so now look what happens when we try and take the square root, we're taking the square root of a negative. So in this case, there's going to be no solution, right? Because our, our circle and our line are not going to intersect, okay? And so that's how you can solve a system of equations when you have a circle and a line. <laughs>